I told, I told her about 20 years ago, I said, babe, I'm going to get you to the White House one of these days. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. <laughs> Do not laugh at that. I came I, to see Miss Michelle, honey. I came to see that diva. <laughs> so I got her here. We're so glad to be here. We wouldn't miss it. Jenny and I have terrible busy schedules, but this was a could not miss. And so we want to prepare a couple of dishes that are both healthy and kid friendly. But we were also thinking about the fact that how Miss Obama was all into being healthy. She started a garden, which I thought was an amazing idea. It would be great if we all could do that. So we're going to start off with a shake em up salad. Now, kids, this is very, very easy. If there's something in here you don't like, you can always substitute it. But we're going to start with some iceberg and romaine lettuce, which Pat's going to put in the bowl. So you just take some iceberg lettuce, and I like to just buy it fresh and give it a good cut. But you can always uh, grow it. My mother has started growing. She's got a garden now at home. And, and she's gotten to the point to where she has nothing better to do but to go and get oregano out of her backyard, right? And harass me. So we could have to keep her in oregano. Oh. So she, I was over there the other day, and she says, look at my oregano. It grew like crazy. I said, Mom, we didn't have a winter in Memphis. So did the weeds that's growing up through there. Exactly. So we t I like when I'm doing my salads. Like, if you notice, I put a little iceberg in. Then I've got some romaine. And I'll go in with a little of that. Then I'll take Hold on, some... Hold let me tell you this, because it's always good to add in some romaine in your salad, because basically iceberg lettuce is nothing but water. So you want to get some romaine in there to get some extra nutrients in there for you. I know kids might not like it, but if you mix it all up together, they'll never know the difference. And if they don't like iceberg or romaine lettuce, you can always use spinach. Spinach is a great substitute. It's very healthy, and it's very good for the kids. It's all about the babies, keeping them healthy. And, and I have to tell you, you know, Gene and I have, um, Spencer and Shelby, our daughters who are 17 and 23 now. And one of the things that we did when it, they were very young, like we see a lot of these kids, is we started <laughs> serving them salads at a young age. And if you start when they're young, kids will adapt to healthy eating. But you gotta do it young. You grown folks can't be coming home with a bucket of fried chicken every night. Uh-uh, some of y'all tired, been working all day. Feeding the kids and then thinking that that's gonna work. So I put a few cherry tomatoes in, then I come with a little carrots. And radishes is something that I like, but they're optional. You know, when you're making a great salad, you can do so many things. I, I'm not using cucumbers today, but you could add cucumbers. Uh, whatever you like that's healthy. As Gina alluded to earlier, spinach, a baby spinach always works. So I've layered it once, and in a pretty glass bowl sitting on the table, Chef William didn't give me no glass bowl. I don't know where you Chef want a William is. Chef William is hiding. No, this is okay. They can see up here, baby. So oh. then I we'll come back with some more iceberg. What you doing, Mom? Now I'm going to make a quick dressing. All I've added in is just some buttermilk and sour cream, salt and pepper, and a little basil. That's all you need. Stop buying that dressing at the grocery store. Make it at home. And that way you can monitor your salt intake. You can monitor what you're putting inside your body and know exactly what you're getting. Oh, they didn't even open this. No, they ain't. I'm uh, taking uh, this home. Chef, no. Chef William. <laughs> Chef William over there, he was in there eating a wrap earlier. He, he, uh -huh. Chef William, he, he ain't been more paid attention to us. I'm taking this home, so, Pat. Let me see your knife. This is, this is our, our, um, our first year here, and I must tell you, it's incredible. It's, it it's is. absolutely it's incredible. It's so beautiful. Hats off to the first lady and the, and the president for inviting us. I'm just girl power. You have to watch me with that. It was, it's always about the woman, you know, for me. You know, we hold up the world. Sorry. Listen to y'all. Power. President Obama, he in the house. He like, can't hear me. He, he, I ain't he, coming back he next like year. He like me, you know. I got two daughters, too. At least he got Bo. Ain't Bo a male? The dog is a male? Well, we got Zoe, a shih tzu, and she's a female. I ain't running nothing in my house. No. Yeah, the dog even tell what, what we're watching on TV. So all you do is just tear up the basil. You don't have to cut or anything. And you can let the kids do this. I wanted something that was something easy for kids to do to get the kids in the kitchen more. I can hardly do my demo without wanting 
Look, look. Let me hear my Can you do it? <laughs> Okay, baby. So I got my salad. You got my dress? Almost. I'm sorry. I'm right in the behind. She got to treat y'all with the dressing. Then you take your dressing. I generally use like a mason jar, any kind of thing with a lid on top. You just put it on top, and all you do is just shake it. It's a shaking salad. And you shake it. And you shake it, shake it, shake it, and you shake it. <laughs> Look at him shaking. Shake He's shaking. It. And you shake it. And you shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it. There you go. That's it. Now look at that. Look at this salad. Oh yeah. Nice, beautiful, and healthy. I'm gonna taste. You wanna taste it? So I'm gonna place the for you. Does it need anything? Girl, it don't need to be done. Nothing but dumped onto that salad. Dump it. Dump it, mama. That's it. Pour it right on. That's a quick, healthy meal when you get home from work. A nice salad. See how simple that is? And you can toss, toss it. Up. it. Need some more? You said, oh, they shouldn't have let the Neelys get on stage with no music. Because we done cooking. Go get it, mama. Go get it, mama. Oh, we got to make a dessert. Okay, all right, you know, now. Listen, they they okay. told us we couldn't be up here long. Now, that's right. just a quick shake em up salad. So you it looks delicious, see as you that? can see. Very pretty. Very pretty, light. And healthy. And good. See? Y'all see it? They, they're right. looking up here, baby. We, they, they have now for something sweet. So we gotta have something sweet, and and I always say, Gina's sweet enough, but I like to add a little. Have to have a little something I can eat. So we're gonna do. You want some brown sugar? Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't you start that, Mama. You be all right, all right? All I'm right. just saying. I'm just so saying. So this is a a triple berry parfait, and you use any berries you want. But since so many great berries are in season right now, we're going to start with some strawberries. And if you can't get strawberries fresh, you can always get them frozen. Try not to buy the can so much, because there's a lot of sugar in it. If you do buy the can, pour the extra syrup off and just put the fruit right in the bowl. Then we got some um, blueberries going in, oh, and blackberries. Here, baby. There's a cutting board. Ah, oh, you know, I'm just from home school. Look. Look. This is so we're going to drop, drop in some blueberries and blackberries. Then, can you open that for me, honey? We got some raspberries. I told you, it's a triple berry. You didn't put me to work at Look. I thought this was a fun trip. <laughs> you guys pour, see? Let's take that off. Pour it pour in. Pour it right on in there. Oh, yeah. Now, if you ever. No old school strawberry shortcut, strawberry cake with the strawberries. My mama used to always take strawberries and she would put sugar in them. Just you to make that? them more syrupy. And that would make the syrup, so. Yeah. We're going to do like my mama used to do. Where y'all put our sugar at? Right here. They got everything in a bag. They would last five minutes on Food Network. But all these bags with whole what? food. And Where's the sugar? You know, it's in a bag. Sunday, all these names on it. Food Network be having a fit. But it does say organic. So that's a plus. That's a plus. It is saying organic. So we'll come with a nice sugar. little old half a cup of sugar. Because it's already right. naturally sweet. All right, baby. Give me some lemon. Give me some lemon. And this is what going to open the flavors. And this is one of those things that okay. really. Let me get that little seed out. If you do Sorry. it the day before, and just let this sit, it's even better. So. And what Pat is doing is mulling with the back of the spoon. Okay. So I'm actually extracting all of the juices from our fruit. All and this righty. is a nice little treat for kids, like now that it's getting ready to get hot in the summer, whether it's dessert or whether it's in the afternoon. I was going to look for my granola. The good thing about this is you can build it any way you want to. You take the prettiest glasses that you have, which is, this is what we have. It's going to open this up. And I guess I just use my little knife, old school. So I just was wondering earlier, how did y'all get invited? What made y'all so special that y'all got invited? 
How did you get invited, ma'am? How? You entered the lottery? Greek yogurt. So that wasn't the money yogurt, lottery. Yogurt, that was the uh, White yogurt. House lottery. So you didn't win no money, but you got a ticket to get in, right? It That's is. That's right, isn't it? Isn't it good to come together every now and then? That's what I just love about it. We just all up in the lawn. Now we need now is a barbecue pit. We tried to bring a bring grill up here. Bring some music up here. Pass that barbecue pit, y'all come Secret out. Service said, don't you come with none of that charcoal and fine. Secret Service said, uh-uh. Uh-uh, brother Neela, you gonna have to invite them to your all house right, or something. Alrighty, so basically what we're gonna do now is just build a parfait. I'm gonna use granola, but if you want, you can also use crumbled up his favorite, you know, your child's favorite up, favorite crumbled up cookie. We can use that. But we're just gonna use granola. Cause granola is a healthy. That. Hey! Who get mad out there? Mm -hmm. He think it's his show, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to use add in a top of Greek yogurt. If you don't want to use Greek yogurt, Greek yogurt is much more healthier for you. You can use whipped topping or vanilla. But let's try to stick with the Greek. We really need to encourage our kids to eat much more healthier, get more energy, have them perform better in school. It makes such a big difference all around. I have to tell you, um, Gene and I always cooked a lot at home when our kids were younger. And we got a 23-year-old now, she's moved out. And I have to tell you, every single Sunday that we're in town, she, sometimes she started to call me like uh, early in the week, what you cooking Sunday? You grilling? You want, I want a steak. Here's one. I, I, I want a you. steak or I want this or what you cooking. And so it's like become that. habit forming for them uh, because we always cooked and we always made healthy dishes for them. So I always say, people tell me, they said, well, I can't get my kid to eat asparagus. I said, how often do you cook asparagus? And what are you doing with asparagus? And if they won't eat asparagus, will they eat um, broccoli? Or our kids wasn't big fan of green beans, but they love potatoes. So we started taking red potatoes, cutting them in squares, boiling them, and then we'd cook our green beans, and then we would add our green beans into the potatoes, so you'd have a dish of green beans and potatoes, and so your kids now would eat vegetables because they like the potatoes. So I always tell people, it's really cool to make sure that you make, make, make your kids eat healthy, and the way to do that is by cooking things that they like and then integrating healthier things as well. All right, so we got a parfait deal going on here. So I wanna jump in here and help mom a little bit. So she's layered it. Then we're gonna layer it again with some more granola. It says granola, vanilla, fruit. However you wanna do it, fruit, granola, vanilla. You can just mix it up any way you want to. So we're just layering that right in there like that. Then we come with some more Greek yogurt. You have to use that small spoon. There. This is gonna be a good, healthy one. And it's <laughs> so quick to make, really. And even for you, if you just want like a sweet trick, like if you have a great day or a bad day at work, instead of using that Greek yogurt, put you some ice cream on it. Put your favorite cookie and put your favorite fruit on there and you have you a good day too. It's all about moderation. I tell people all the time, you don't have to eat healthy every day. You, you know, pick a day out of the week that you can have a cheat day. Have pizza, margarita, sangria, you know, look, pizza, beer, whatever. That way you can enjoy it better. Oh, okay. What, 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 what? You gotta have okay. your little music. Slide it in, it's like that. Roll it in, just like that. They don't know. We don't know. We could have been baby. We could have been well, uh, music folks, right? So you gonna top? You gonna top it off? You know top what? mine off first. Let me top yours off. So then you come back, and we're just coming with a little yogurt across the top. That. They got these champagne glasses. Did you order these glasses? No. Uh, I, ain't talking, I ain't saying nothing. Chef in this, William. I ain't saying nothing in this Chef White House. William. Honey, I ain't saying nothing in this White House. Whatever they got, they can have. We're we just glad house. to be here, right? Yeah. 
And see? just like that. Just like that. You got a healthy, a nice fresh treat. dessert. You got a delicious salad. All you need now is some baked chicken or baked fish. All we need now is some taste. Oh, a grill. Do we have some little plastic spoons? No taste. When I tell y'all yeah, said no. no taste. They, they won't let us taste. They won't let you taste. And you can just That's see like, your face. It's like that on most demos. They, 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 they're afraid. No, Miss Jane, girl. You're going to go home and get sick and say, the Neelys made me sick at the White House. I don't know. I bet you I'll be I know, sleeping right? there tomorrow night. But really, this was less than 20 minutes. You got a great salad. You got a great parfait. And like I said, you, can, you don't have to use strawberries. You can use raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, whatever your favorite berry is. You can put bananas in there. Whatever works for you. But always try to use a Greek yogurt, like I said, for something a little more healthier. Because really what it's kind of all about now, if we just need to be, I used to fit through that. I guess I ain't been drink, eating my Greek yogurt, huh? But basically, we just want it to be healthy. We want our kids to enjoy our foods. If they don't like something, try to mix it up a little bit. Anything right. you can then do to encourage them to eat more healthier. And now, when we, they eat, just got to get it moving. Now, now you know, y'all, we're a little bit different than any other chefs you'll see um, on stage because we'll allow five questions. If anyone has any questions about us, want to ask anything about our cooking, the show, cookbook, our New York restaurant that we just opened. Woo! -hoo! We're super happy about. Um, just fire away. Yes, ma'am. You say what, baby? They are new shows. The, there are new shows airing. They're the, in the 11th. I'm sorry. Yeah, new shows are airing every Saturday. So bossy. But we also have a big surprise coming up on don't, Food Network don't soon. Tell them. He can't hold Thank on. Thank you, baby. We they appreciate that. Awesome. He can't hold I, I have on. to tell you what she said. She said she got our new cookbook, the Neely Celebration Cookbook. Woo just released in November. So yeah, we're, we're working on a third one. So if you want to send me some recipes, send them right on to me. Yes, ma'am. Recipe for... Yes. Go ahead, mama. No. 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 We got a real healthy... She has a healthy way for um, fried, fried chicken. chicken. Instead of frying it in grease. So we marinate it. And? Buttermilk and onions and hot sauce, so just a dab of hot sauce, all right, because you got to make it a little spicy. Then we season panko breading. Cornflakes. Which is no, cornflakes. Cornflakes. It is cornflakes. We take cornflakes. Take cornflakes and crumble them up in a Ziploc bag. Just take a rolling pin and roll them out. And that's going to give you the texture of fried chicken, but it's not going to be fried chicken. You can't imagine how many guests are food thinking they're eating fried chicken and they're eating cornflakes. And we bake it in the oven. So we put it on the baking sheet. Really good. 350 degrees for about an hour, hour, 20 minutes, and bake it, depending on if you're cooking breasts or wings or whatever. And um, we actually had some guests over, and they said, oh, this is the best fried chicken. I said, and guess what? You ain't even having no cholesterol problem. See? We baked this in the oven. So all you do is take alternatives. Yes, ma'am. Our restaurant in New York is at 62nd and 1st in Upper East Manhattan. It's called Neely's Barbecue Polar. Want to give it that southern style. And anybody, and you guys live close enough if you're here in the D.C. area to get to New York. Do it, I'm telling you. Uh, Tell I, me uh, you want the VIP. Oh, uh, we, we, we tan it up up there in East, Eastern Manhattan. They ain't never seen macaroni and cheese and <laughs> Gina's collard greens and, you know, mashed potatoes with brown gravy, you know. We tan it up up there. We got shrimp and grits. And so we, we got so sick of going to New York all the time and never being able to get a good meal. So I said, let's just open up our own place. And that's what and we did. And it says 62nd and 1st, Upper East Manhattan. Yes. Right. Exactly. And of course, it's Check great it barbecue. Out. We got our barbecue recipes there as well. Any other questions before we roll on? Because once we roll, we got, we're going to roll. We got two more. Yes. Now, this song right here is called Please. Keep your mouth closed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read this. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Do like mama say. No, just having balance. You know, Pat and I have been together for over 30 years now. We were married 17 high school sweethearts. Got back together at our 10-year reunion. 
but we work together in a restaurant, which I think started a great foundation. But you know, anything that you start to build, you want to make it sustainable, have that foundation, believe in yourself, believe that God has it for you, work on it. And when you say I do, I do mean I work. You can't just say I do and kick back. I do mean I work. So that's all you got to do. And that's the best formula I can give you, baby. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Now that's not going to be calling me. You so pretty in person. You so skinny in person. You look so fat on TV. You don't look like you. We're not going to do all that. <laughs> thank you so very much. Thank you, guys. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Let's sorry, get this mama. little one. Yeah, baby. I'll come around and get that on my way out. Thank you guys so thank much. You. We really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. And Enjoy the White House Easter egg hunt. And Bo 